Hey everybody, this is Colton with POSGuys.com, and today I have a fun video for us here. Uh, we've been getting a lot of calls and emails and questions from software developers and end users alike uh, who have heard about a new thing from Star Micronics called CloudPrint. Um, and, you know, I thought it would be good to go straight to the experts to sort of answer some of those qu commonly asked questions. So I have two representatives from Star Micronics, uh, this is integration team on the line here. Uh, gentlemen, would you like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, Colton, thank you. Uh, my name is Mark Roschel. I am the integration manager here at Star Micronics. And uh, we also have one of our integration specialists, uh, Oreo here. Oreo? Uh, yeah, just like Mark mentioned, my name is Oreo Lua. And I'm an integration specialist here at Star, uh, usually working uh, with software developers to make sure that their solutions are properly integrated and taking like the right approach to make things easy for them. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. I really appreciate it. So to start us off here, um, for those who maybe aren't super aware, uh, Star Micronics is CloudPrint. It's a relatively new offering. Uh, and the whole idea behind it is that it's supposed to allow web-based software developers to more easily connect their softwares with a cloud printing service for receipt printers. Um, in a very brief overview, did I basically describe that right, guys? Uh, yes, you did, Colton. Uh, I would delve a little bit uh, deeper into it, but like you said, CloudPrint is designed in mind uh, to make things easy for, for developers, right? Uh, so they can print through a cloud service as easily as possible. And with that in mind, we decided to go with the uh, most common like web service, right? Uh, and that's uh, the HTTP requests, right? That's like the most common thing that every developer knows how to do on a web uh, server is to make HTTP requests and handle those requests, right? So we decided to go with that approach. And obviously the print data formats are common data formats, mean text, image, whatever. So those are easy formats that everyone is familiar with and can easily generate, right? Uh, and all of CloudPrint's communication can be done with a single uh, URL, right? So that's the uh, one of the things with CloudPrint, right? It communicates over a URL. Uh, so whatever IP address of the printer doesn't matter. So long as the printer is connected to the network, it can work with CloudPrint, right? So you just need to provide the printer with your server's URL and communication uh, would begin, right? Uh, so the printer usually sends like an HTTP post request uh, to your server, and all you need to do is respond to that. In those requests, you can see the uh, status of the printer, uh, cover open, paper out, all of those status, so you can properly manage the printer as well. Uh, and yeah, so that HTTP request makes things easy for everybody. It's a REST API that everyone is familiar with and can get can it reduces development time a lot because everyone's familiar with it already. Uh, and then one thing to note uh, that I almost forgot to mention is uh, for the for your server, right, uh, at the request of uh, most of the developers is, okay, you would host your own server, right? So the uh, developers or customers, ISVs rather, host their own server. So Star Micronis provides the technology, but you guys host your server. Thanks for making that quick little note there. That's, that's super yeah. important to know for sure. Uh, Oreo or Mark, real quick. Uh, what languages does your cloud, um, your cloud print application support? Uh, good question, Colton. Um, cloud print servers can be created using any server side technology that can implement web services. So the technology itself is uh, language agnostic, but some of the common programming languages uh, developers are using is PHP, uh, .NET, Node.js, and, and Python. So those are some of the languages we're seeing, but totally agnostic, and it's also device agnostic as well. Great, thanks for clarifying that here. So now that, you, now that we have kind of gone over very briefly what the ap actual application is and what it does, I'm, I'm interested to hear a little bit about where this type of technology is best used. You know, I see a little bit of, of it on my side, but I'm interested to hear from the pros here. You know, what are where are you seeing the most traction for this sort of technology coming from in the work that you do, you guys do every day? So originally it was developed for online ordering. Um, this way orders can be uh, come from anywhere at any time. The order can be placed by a customer with their cell phone on their computer at home. Uh, and then the printer can be a standalone printer at the business. 
Um, so there's no need for a tablet or no need to maintain a, an SSL certificate at the local level. Um, and we are seeing a lot of uh, adoption in the point of sale setups in brick and mortars. Um, for example, the order can be placed from a customer's device sitting at, uh, let's say, a restaurant or a kiosk or even behind the counter. Basically, an order can be placed anywhere around the world. It hits the server, and then our cloud print compatible printers will pull that job and get the order uh, received and originally started for online ordering, but is being used for everything right now. Okay. Yeah, so it sounds like it's been a, a super useful application for uh, you know some of the applications that we're seeing uh, that have become a lot more popular over the last couple of years. When might another development approach make more sense, though? Because I, I get the feeling that this might not be for everybody and for every use case. Uh, yeah, you are <clears throat> you are right about that. Uh, so although CloudPrint is very versatile, right? like Mark mentioned, it was initially for online orderings, but now you see point-of-sale companies using those as well. Uh, so yes, CloudPrint can almost work in every scenario, right? But so, but depending on the applications, like everyday use case, like for online orderings, it's perfect, right? But for example, uh, if you're like more so security conscious in the sense that, okay, like you're, it's a government application, right? And they want to be totally disconnected from the internet, right? Then that's not the right approach because the printer would, uh, has internet access, right? But some government agencies don't want anything connected to the internet, right? So for a situation like that, cloud print might not be the best approach. I will take, for example, uh, your in a, your application is for like a library where you check out books, right? You don't need a cloud print application for that because you know they probably have a computer that they're using. They scan the book, I uh, and then print uh, whatever ticket, so you know that okay, these are the books you rented from the library. Stuff like that, you don't really need uh, internet access for or a web based application for. You can easily do that with a native application. So it all kind of depends on what the everyday use case for this application is and what requirements like, okay, the customer has exactly, right? And obviously uh, we always say, reach out to Star or POS guys, they'll get you connected with us and we can go over the entire scope of the project. See, okay, this is the best path forward for your for the application you have in mind, right? So we're always available to help get things uh, running the right way. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, it, it's this type of thing is really complicated uh, you know, or seems to be, right, especially if you don't kind of have the depth of knowledge to handle it. So you, you hit the head on the nail, you know, hit the nail on the head there, so to speak. Uh, definitely give us a call, you know, if this is kind of going over your head a little bit or you still have some open questions. Um, but kind of transitioning to a question that I get a ton, and actually I could probably count three or four times that I've gotten this in the past week, actually. Um, I'm getting a lot of calls and a lot of questions from ISVs who have an existing solution. So let's say they're a developer, you know, they have a piece of software that they've already developed with an existing printing solution, uh, and they have com customers who have already bought a receipt printer for it. You know, so maybe they're using a cloud printing service from another, another manufacturer, or they're using something like Apple AirPrint, or, or maybe it's a native application, right? They're, and they're just building off like a Windows print driver, but they want to add this on as like an additional option to streamline things and make it a little bit easier, but they don't want to alienate those existing customers, you know, and have them buy new receipt printers or change their whole setup. Are, if you integrate a cloud print setup, is it possible to kind of have both run in parallel so you can kind of use either or? Uh, yes. So most of our cloud print, I mean, all of our cloud print compatible printers actually uh, can run with native applications as well concurrently, right? So the printer can be working with cloud print and also get uh, native uh, print jobs, right? Connected to like a computer via USB or connected uh, via Bluetooth if you have one of the higher end models that have Bluetooth and cloud print. So they can communicate with all of those uh, ports at the same time, right? So you can use cloud print and a native application. But I think, like I said before, it all depends on uh, the scenario or the requirements by the customer, right? Uh, so yes, the best thing to do would obviously to discuss with us to see, okay, is this, uh, is cloud print really necessary as an add-on for your application? If it is necessary, we'll find a way to get it done for you because it's it can be done, right? So it all depends on uh, 
how much, you know, time and effort we want to put into it at the moment, right? Because sometimes, you know, things can come up and, you know, projects have to be properly, uh, create a proper timeline for projects. So uh, if you reach out to us, we'll work with you to make sure that, okay, cloud print can be done uh, and this is how long it's going to take or whatever. Uh, and we'll work with you to make sure that, okay, the solution you have in mind, we can bring it to life. Okay. So you said that, you know, they can work with you all uh, to sort of help streamline that process. You know, and you had kind of noted that you can kind of work with them to figure out the best implementation approach. What are some of the other ways that, you know, STAR can make the development process easier? What does that practically look like? Yeah, Colton. Um, so one of the ways we offer samples in PHP and Node.js, uh, Net SDK, whatever uh, the customer is using, um, by reaching out to the integration team here at Star, we'll provide you the correct SDK, the correct samples, support uh, with a demo unit for testing. So basically what we do, we support throughout the entire process. You reach out to us in integration specials like Oreo will be able to support and, and you run into any hiccups, any questions, you get stuck, we're there. We're going to walk you through it and make sure you get integrated and make sure you're good to go. So that's what we're, you know, Star Micronics integration team does. Um, we're, we're the experts. We do this a lot. So we we really want the ISV to reach out to us at any time for any questions because we know our way around this and we can make it a lot easier for the ISV. Yeah. And I can personally, for the people watching, I can personally vouch for these guys. Uh, you know, I've walked a number of ISVs and franchises sort of down this road uh, and they've been really good from start to finish. Uh, and have sort of answered all the questions that I couldn't answer uh, and have kind of, you know, we've, we've made a good team in that regard. So definitely can vouch for that. Um, so let's say that a developer comes to you all and is interested in jumping on with CloudPrint. You know, what do they need to do to get started? And roughly how long does the average set, setup typically look like, you know, from a timeline perspective? Uh the timeline kind of varies, right, with each uh, integration in the sense that we need to consider, okay, is this a project that's uh, a high priority project for you, uh, the ISV, right? Because some ISVs have different projects that they're taking on at the same time, right? And if this is a project that's scheduled for uh, to be released in, say, the Q4 of a year, right, then we know, okay, to them, it's not really high priority. So it might look like it took a long time for them to implement cloud print, but just on their list of priorities, it wasn't at the top of their priority. So, uh, but yes, we will still work with you. Even if you say, oh, this is something you're looking to develop for next year. Oh, we'll still offer our support to make sure that you have all that you need, right? But it all kind of develops on, uh, the, I mean, depends on the developer's skill level, right? And as well as the uh, uh, the timeline that they've set for them themselves to you know get the project finished, right? Uh, I think the fastest turnaround time I've seen with cloud print, uh, I think was probably like two days or, or so we had a developer reach out to us, uh, let's say today. And by two days later, he was done integrating and was able to print and all of that. He had all of that set up. So all he needed to do was just, you know, keep building from there. Right. So it's a pretty easy uh, technology to implement. Like I mentioned, most web developers are familiar with the HTTP uh, posts and get requests. So if they're familiar with that already, they can easily handle those requests from the printer because that's all you're really doing. The printer is communicating and you're responding to it. Right? It's a back and forth communication. Just make sure you're handling that communication properly. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to get things up and running as as soon as you want to really. Right? So as much effort as you put in uh, to get it up and running, you'll get things going. And uh, I think we're able to offer like demo units right? To make sure that, okay, if you don't have a printer to start with, we'll, we'll gladly send you a printer so you can get things up and running as soon as possible, right? Uh, and then also the cloud print technology is totally free. So it's not like you need to consider a cost or whatever compared to a different solution. So, you know, all of those barriers are not there. So if you don't have a printer, we'll send you one and it's completely free. So you'll be able to get things up and running as soon as possible. So then it sounds like then the only sort of cost would be associated with this is, you know, of course, the labor, um, but then also, you know, whatever the cost is for 
running your web server. And if you're already developing a cloud-based application, you know, that's already a given. You're going to have that yeah. regardless. So yeah, that's, that's a really good point. Thanks for bringing that up, Oreo. Um, but the, so after, you know, we've, we've gone through the whole integration development process, sort of what that looks like. Um, but of course that's, that's one part of it, right? The second part is actually sourcing and sourcing the printers that are capable of running the cloud print and then getting them into the hands of your end users. Uh, and star has been really good, um, from a supply chain perspective about making those printers available. Uh, but of course it's, you know, it's a, it can be an involved process to from start to finish to get those printers into the hands of your end users and set up and ready to go. And that's uh, where my company would come in, right? POS guys. Um, once you kind of get that process integrated, uh, you know, get cloud print up and running, then we could then come in and sort of help with the actual distribution of the product itself and sort of that aftercare support. And that's sort of what we specialize in. Um, so working with us, working with Star, uh, we can make the whole process just super easy for you. You know, you don't have to stay up at night worrying about it. We can make it nice and easy for you. Um, so with that, uh, that basically wraps up the major questions that I get from uh, developers. Uh, so with that, yeah, I think this is a good time for us to, to part ways. Thank you all so much for uh, being with me. I really appreciate it. It's been a super enlightening conversation.